Hey everybody and welcome back to DDLC Plus. So that ending I was talking about, this the secret ending. Yeah, no, it's just the ending I already got. It's, uh, I guess Monica ending counts as an ending. If you don't delete her, it counts. As an, I I don't I don't. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I so well I just I saw the different uh, routes that you could take, Sayori's and Natsuki's. Uh, Sayori's was better than Natsuki's because I was not as distant to Yuri as I was in Natsuki's, and, um, Yuri is just best Oki, let's just get that over with. Anyways, we're doing the side stories now. I'm really excited to get into this. I'm pretty sure I have all of them. Uh, I don't know if I do. I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, hold on. <laughs> six. Okay, so, three, one, two, three, four, five. I got all of them. Okay, so yeah, I we're going to do them in the order that they're presented in. So first one is trust. It's Monica and Sayori. Begin the side story. Yes. Oh boy. Oh, new music. Oh boy new places I already know these things are gonna th these side stories are gonna make me feel some different type of way dude holy crap already the music is just freaking amazing all right okay everyone the literature club is starting let's all have a seat and take attendance okay Da, da, da. Ugh, I miss the debate club. Who knew it would be so difficult to start a new club? I feel worse with every day that passes without anyone coming in. I'm really starting to lose confidence. Monica is the only member of the literature club. That's sad. In the days that have passed, all of their all of her efforts to recruit new members have been fruitless. Am I going about this wrong? Monica glances at one of her flyers. The headline is, Do you like literature? Maybe nobody is into literature enough to pick it over their other club interests. I can't just rely on people liking literature. I need to sell them on a vision. A vision. But what kind of vision? Monica rests her head on, the, on her desk, deep in thought. Be but before she realizes it, the recent nights of staying up too late start to catch up to her. It's so quiet, and the noise of the air conditioner is soothing. Oh, this is when Sayori comes in and is like, Bro, I'm gonna start a new club with you, motherfucker. Um, hello? Um, okay, jeez. Suddenly, a voice causes Monica to snap awake. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I never do this. <laughs> is this a napping club? <laughs> no, this is... Monica Poss is suddenly embarrassed to admit that this is, in fact, the Literature Club. This is the Literature Club. Yay, I thought I got it wrong for a second. I'm super sorry, it was like, so unprofessional of me to do that. Don't apologize, I do that all the time. Oh? Um, did I miss the club meeting? Where, where is everybody? Well, about that. This is everybody. Really? Just you? But we're getting more members. I'm working really hard on it. Hold on a sec. If it's just you, da da da, that means I get to be vice president. <laughs> Wait, vice president? Um, what are your qualifications? Well, I'm better at napping than you. Maybe I should be president. Now you're just making fun of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, what was your name? Sayori. Okay, Sayori. I've been re trying really, really hard on this club. I know you caught me at a weird time, but... It's really disheartening to not be taken seriously, you know? I care so much about this. I just want to find other people who do too. Oh no. I'm so sorry. 
I do care, I promise. I have a hard time being serious, that's all. I didn't mean for it to hurt you. And I was joking about the vice president thing too. I would make a terrible vice president. I mean, I'm sure that Monica tries to say something reassuring, but it's difficult when she doesn't know much about Sayori. I'm sorry that it isn't like a real club yet. Maybe you would be interested in joining after I found more members, at least. Well, no. I want to join now. Really? Yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun. Besides, I can tell you how I can tell how hard you've been working. You're doing something amazing and you should be proud of it, you know? So let me help you turn something stressful into something fun. If nothing else, I'm good at that, so <laughs> Honestly, how could I possibly say no to that? That's really sweet of you, Sayori. Oh, I'm Monica, by the way. Monica. That's such a cool name. Oh. Now you're just trying to cheer me up. But you're smiling! Well, I didn't say I, it didn't work. Monica glances at the flyer on her desk and realizes that her name is already written on it. So what do we do first? Well... Oh god. Well... It's getting pretty late, isn't it? We can go home and try to come up with new ideas to recruit club members. I can do that. Cool. And... I think I need to put some more thought into my vision for the club. You know, like... A mission. My mission is to make everyone happy. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I need to think about it. Hey, do you like hugs? <laughs> okay. I guess so? Sayori suddenly pulls Monica into a friendly hug, then let's go. Who can Sayori, man? Some people can really just use a hug sometimes. We ain't talking about that. Besides, Siori whispers loudly. Hug energy is what keeps me at my best. <laughs> Hug energy? Monica laughs. Although Siori is very different from her, Monica feels feels her spirits lifted. Maybe it's just because she finally found another club member. But, well, I'm looking forward to tomorrow then. It'll be fun. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna think really hard tonight about what, how to get more people. Yeah, me too. Is that the end of the side story? Are these side stories really that short? Yeah, no, they aren't. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? Seriously? A day passes and time, and the time comes for the lecture club. Monica and Sayori to uh, reconvene. As president, Monica reinsures. Uh, not reinsures, but Monica ensures that she that she's the first to arrive at the club room. But she finds her, herself waiting longer than expected for Siori. It's been ten minutes already. Maybe Siori changed her mind about joining. No, that can't be. She was so excited yesterday. But I'm getting kind of worried. Siri suddenly comes bounding to the door. Through the through the door. English is hard. In her hands, she is holding a sheet of paper. Sorry I'm late, I'm here. It's okay, welcome back. And... Siori spins over to Monica and deposits the sheet onto Monica's desk. Oh, what's this? Take my hand, take my hand, take me forward, take me into your dreamland. Uh, caution me... Yeah, caution me to watch my step so I can't look back at my footprints. Climb the stairs ahead of me while I look up to you. The more I look forward, the more I look up, the more I can lend to you. If you can trust me to follow your, your pace, I'll trust you to set it. If you can trust me to lend you a smile, I'll trust you to return it. Take my hand, take me forward, take me to your dreamland. Oh, that's really sweet. It's really sweet. Hey. This is really good. You wrote this, Sayori? Of course. Wait. Wait, no! That's the wrong side of the paper! Huh? I wasn't ready to share that yet, I'm so embarrassed! Monica flips over the paper, written on the other side is a list of ideas for recruiting new club members. Oh! Okay, just gotta keep the poem stuff in there. Oh, this is what you meant to show me. But, I'm curious now. 
Do you write poetry often? I do, but I'm sure I'm not anywhere near as good as it as you are. <laughs> really? I'm actually terrible at writing poetry. I've never written anything I was happy with. Like, I always need I always read it again in a week and I write it like I'm and I'm like, wow, this is stupid. I don't know. It's like the dramatic version of me doesn't agree with the person that I want myself to be or something like that. Aww. You should have more confidence in yourself. You're the literature club president. <laughs> I guess you're not wrong there. I need to like set a good example or whatever. Hmm. You know, I can envision the club doing something like that. Doing what? You know, like sharing poems we write and stuff like that? Oh yeah, I would love that. It's such a good way to learn about other people, you know? It's like we have so many emotions that we can't express to other people usually. But you can when it's in a poem, right? Yeah. I think that... I think that's helping me form a more uh, cohesive vision for the club. So I'm glad you showed me. Well, even though it was by accident. Me too. I felt embarrassed at first. Oh wait, that's... yeah. I felt embarrassed at first, but now it feels kind of good to get something out... Uh, to, okay, I can't read. But now it feels kind of good that someone else read it. I'll try to show you more of them in the future. I'd love that. Oh, jeez, I'm getting distracted. Do you want to go over this and over this recruitment brainstorm together? My brainstormed so hard. Okay. It was like a brain hurricane. My brain is a natural disaster. The focus on her face says it all. <laughs> Siori, that's terrible. Anyway, let's take a look at this list. Dot dot dot. Make cupcakes. I was hungry. But it's a good idea. Isn't it? Um, let me think about this. I mean, we would... When would we have the chance to give people cupcakes? You know, like when they come into the club. What if we said we had free cupcakes on the f on the flyers? I'm like kind of worried that that would bring the wrong kinds of people, you know? Wrong kinds? Some people some people would just come for the cupcakes and then leave. Oh, no way you would do that. That would be mean. But, you know, I want to find people who are really into literature. Even if they don't know it yet. Let's see. The next thing on the list, hunt for people reading books. I don't think I get it. Like going around the school and finding people who are reading books, you know? Like in the morning or during lunch. Is that how they find Yuri? Tell me that's how they find Yuri. Tell me. Please. And then we tell them to check out the literature club. Well, the problem with that is, like, wouldn't most people reading books just be doing that for an assignment or something? How would we know if they're just reading it for fun? Um, well, we could ask them, but then we'd be bothering people who are trying to do schoolwork. I didn't think about that part. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. You're just coming up with a lot more things than I can. Oh, your next idea is to hand out flyers, rather than just putting them on the wall. I'd definitely like to start doing that. I'm useful! <laughs> I never said you weren't. I just need to think. What would we tell people when handing them out? I don't want to be, like, join the literature club. Let's figure out something we can do to better engage people. What if I t what if you told them about the club activities and stuff? What club activities? Yeah, I guess it's supposed to be my job to come up with that, right? A vision for the club. Okay, Sayori, pretend you're a normal person for a second. Wait! I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> you know, like a random passerby who's getting a flyer. How do you react to the idea of the literature club? Hmm, probably like... Literature is stupid. Join the anime club. What the heck? <laughs> Sorry, I was just kind of thinking of a friend of mine. Oh, fuck you, Sayori. Fuck you. Fuck you, Sayori. Fuck you. Fuck you, too. I don't 
yeah, shut up. <laughs> okay, that's that. That's cool though. That's cool that they put that in there. Okay. What if I said that we, like, do group reading and discuss it together? I would probably be. I would probably nap through that. That's you, Sayori. Yeah, but it doesn't really sound like fun to most people anyway. We need to really catch their interest, you know? Uh, this sucks. Why is this so hard? Monica, don't be sad. What do you do? Uh, what do you like about literature, Sayori? Me? Well, kind of what I said about the poem earlier. I think it gives you a chance to, spread, to express yourself. Like, express yourself in ways you can't normally do when you're just doing it by- when you're just doing your normal day and talking to your friends. I mean, we all have so many thoughts and feelings that we just don't know how to get to share them. That we don't get to share, you know? It's like... intimate. Yeah? How do we get that across to people? We could, like, express your true self. Be intimate with us. Okay, that's kind of... <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, in the case of MC... Kind of true. But, I... Besides that. <laughs> oh my gosh! What? What is it? I forgot all about my things in my classroom. I must have gotten too excited and rushed over here, silly me. Rushed? But... You weren't... Ah, uh, never mind. Do you want to get your stuff then? I'll forget it if I don't do it now. <laughs> well, I'll wait for you then. Okay, it'll take a second. Sayori dashes out of the room, leaving Monica momentarily alone. Monica sighs and starts jotting her thoughts on a sheet of paper. Express yourself. Be who you want to be. Make new friends. Dot dot dot. Discover a new you. Discover your heart. No. Write your heart out. No. Write into your heart. Write the way into- OH MY GOD! I should not be freaking out this much, but that is- Oh, 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 oh poggers. No, that is actually poggers. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Okay, that's it. That's all I gotta say. Join the literature club. Write the way into your- Stop saying that, Monica. Uh, you're making my fanboy die. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Wow, that's lame. Monica! Ah, you startled me. Sorry, but it's something important. On the way to my classroom, there was a girl reading a book. Yuri, it's Yuri. I'm sorry I get close to my mic. But uh, it's just a thing I do. Get over it. Reading a book? Let's hurry and recruit her! Wait, are you sure she's not just doing her homework? I could tell she was really into it. Um, well, I guess we could take a look. Monica grabs one of her flyers and stands up from her desk. Then the two depart the classroom with Sayori leading the way. This way! You don't have to run. Sayori leads Monica over to a over to a particular classroom, then lowers her voice to whisper. See? In here. Monica peers through the window. Sure enough, there's a girl sitting alone, intently reading a book. Hey, it's Yuri. I feel like a creep doing this. You should go inside and talk to her. Me? You're, you're the president, and I would probably scare her away. Okay, fine, I'll do it. Monica takes a deep breath, then timidly enters the classroom. That was fast? Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. Why? What happened? Um, well, I entered the classroom and she didn't even look up from her book. So I kind of just left the flyer on her desk and then walked out. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Da da da. Okay, I can't. I, I feel like, I feel like Doki Doki Literature Club just gives me a certain type of happiness I cannot feel any other way. 
I swear. <laughs> but I'm sure she'll, she'll see it and want to join the club. I hope so. Shall we head back now? The two head back to the classroom, Sayori feeling rather accomplished and Monica still feeling a bit embarrassed by the encounter. Upon returning, I love this music. I love this music. Upon returning, Monica and Sayori resume their strategy meeting. They discuss various different kinds of- uh, various- Why do you have various different- You don't need a different if you say various, and you don't need a various if you say different. You don't need those two words in the same sentence like that. <laughs> they discuss various kinds of recruitment tactics, from professional to silly. I thought this game was supposed to be about literature when I know more about literature, I guess. I don't know. There just shouldn't be those two right there. Anyways. After going into after going through Sayori's list with and with Monica coming up with ideas of her own, the two end in a better spot than where they began. Hold on. Did Siri forget her stuff in her classroom again? Cause she okay, yeah. <laughs> Probably. Well, I would say today is pretty was a pretty productive was pretty productive, wasn't it? Yeah, I think we're starting to make progress. I can't wait to get some new members. Hey, what's this? Siri appears at a sheet of paper Monica was jotting on earlier. Oh, don't mind that. I was just thinking to myself. Join the join the literature club. Right the way into your heart. That's so cute. <laughs> I thought it was a little over dramatic. It's one of the best song lyrics in in songwriting I've ever heard. Just uh, uh, in, my, in my opinion, it's also the, one of the best songs. Just yeah. Anyways, but Siri pauses and think for a moment. You know, I don't think you give yourself enough credit. What? What do you mean? Like. I don't know. I feel like I can tell from talking to you today. It seems like you're always afraid of doing something wrong. Yeah, but... Would you call yourself a perfectionist? Dot dot dot. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely am. I mean, I always have an idea in my head and of, of how I want things to go. And it's like, I can't accept anything less than that. But in the end, I think in the end, it helps me try my hardest at everything, so I don't think it's that bad. Like with this club, we have such an opportunity to make it exactly how we envision it. But it feels like we only have one shot at it. So, I'm just really afraid of deviating from that, the vision. What's the vision? It's... Monica pauses to think and then shakes her head to herself. She sighs. I don't know. I just want everyone to... Da da da. Yuri trails off. I mean... Not Yuri, I, see, I keep saying Yuri, it's just in my head. Monica trails off. <laughs> Smiling, Siri taps her finger against the sheet of paper. Right the way into your heart. I think that's- I think what you're trying to do is to make a club that you need the most out of everyone. Uh, I, I read that wrong probably. Well, you're the only one who knows yourself the best. Uh, you're the- you're the one who knows yourself best, of course. But I'm here to help you. Monica returns Sayori's smile. It's sort of amazing how kind you are. We, uh, we're really gonna make this the best club ever. Sayori nods and the two remain silent for a moment, lost in thought. The only sound is a steady is, a th is the steady whisper from the air conditioner. And the only movement is the afternoon sunlight trickling its way in and out of the clouds. Uh, Sayori breaks the movement with a big yawn. Time to go home? You tell me, you're the president. <laughs> in that case, today's meeting is officially over. I look forward to tomorrow. Me too. Sayori beams and grabs her things. Aw, oh, she didn't forget it, okay. You can go ahead, I'll need a few minutes still. Oh, I can wait. That's all right, I just want some time alone. Mm, in that case, Siri waves enthusiastically at Monica. Good luck. Monica smiles and waves in return at all oh, his music, and Siri spins uh, her way out of the club room. 
All alone, she sighs to herself and takes a minute to zone out. She, was, she wasn't prepared for the self-reflection encouraged by Sayori, but she decides that it was something that she probably needed about right about now. The club that I need the most. I don't get it. I just wanted to start a club with more passion. Something that I could use to help lead people to happiness. Literature is the key to that. Because it's the window to the real people inside of us. Underneath the person who's forced to always smile and blend in. Person who's forced to be perfect. Just, hmm. Monica suddenly notices a folder on the floor by her desk. Did Sierra leave this behind? I hope it doesn't have homework in it. Worried, Monica opens the folder to check. Poems. It's a folder of poems. Become the flower. A feeling of joy is a flower plucked from the ground. The color, the scent, it's so pretty in my hair. Every day I pluck some flowers as though they grew just from me. A lifetime of peace and nourishment yanked away in an instant. All for me, all for joy. I need more. I need more joy. I need more happy. Pluck, pluck, pluck every day. Pluck, pluck, pluck so pretty in my hair. Pluck, pluck, pluck. You're going to die. And you, and you, too. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, Sayori, very bittersweet. Uh, beneath my feet, a flower stands alone. It beckons to me. A twist, I twist the stem, freeing it from its clinging roots, uh, caressing the final joyous moment between my fingers. But to what ends? I look in every direction, and the field I stand in. The prosperous field. It is is barren is a barren wasteland. I can't speak. The fruits of my labor, the carnage of my joy, and that is why I've decided I must become the flower. What the wait, Siri? Oh boy, oh there's so much new stuff. Okay, what is this? Reavort side stories. Thank you everyone who has worked hard on the control Control simulation, blah, 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 blah. Just to clarify, all the recording stories are part of the control simulation. Uh, who are you? <laughs> Why am I getting mail? From 2019. <laughs> Anyways. We got some pictures now. We got new poems and stuff. Oh, boy. Poems. Uh, all the poems. We need to look at all the poems. That's it? Is that it? No. No, we have new stuff. We have new stuff. We have new lighting there. Uh, we're gonna have a vending machine sometime. Okay. Music. We got more music, dude. More music! Dude, I'm listening to this so much. I say dude too much. I'm sorry. But just best, best song right here. And I can't play any more of that because I got copyright claimed for that once. Anyways. <laughs> Now we can do part two, which I am going to do right now. Another day passes in a flash, and it's already time for the next club meeting. Although Monica should have come up with a plan for today's club tasks, she hasn't been able to shake her guilt and anxiety over reading Siri's poem. I'm so stupid. How did I let myself be the center of attention? Siri is going through these kinds of feelings, and I'm letting her comfort me instead of the other way around. What kind of club president does that? Okay, that's just say how Sayori is. She's very selfless. This whole time, I didn't think to ask about her own feelings. So much for the stupid vision. Siri enters her club room with her usual smile. Uh, but upon seeing the downcast Monica, her smile quickly fades into an expression of concern. Monica? Is everything okay? Dot dot dot. I'm really sorry. I'm such a terrible friend. Huh? What are you talking about? You're an amazing friend. Monica shakes her head. I made this all about myself. Even you said so yesterday. You told me that I'm trying to make the club the everything I need the most, right? But my problems are so trivial compared to yours. Siri responds quietly. What are you talking about? But as she says that, her face darkens. 
Through the silence, Sayori, Sayori mutters her realization. I, I left my folder here. Monica stares blankly ahead, unable to come up with a response. I wasn't ready to share those. Now, you're worrying about me. I don't want that. But why? We're friends, right? Wordlessly, Siori nods. Friends look out for each other. I want to be here for you as much as you are here for me. Another long moment passes in silence. The air is incredibly heavy. This is different. I was... I wasn't... It wasn't just about yesterday... About... Okay, God, I need to read better. <laughs> it wasn't just about you yesterday. It was about the club. Besides... Things were so happy yesterday. You don't need to do this all of a sudden. I don't want it. I like happy. So, if you do this, then you're just being selfish. Dot dot dot. Yeah, that's, that's supposed to make her feel better. <laughs> Monica massages her forehead, struggling through, struggling through the frustration of such a paradox. It's understandable that Sayori isn't ready to sh uh, share certain feelings. But... As unfair as it is for Monica to pry, it's also painful for Monica to force herself to ignore these, the needs of her friend. I'm sorry I looked. I, dis I disrespected your privacy. No, I don't blame you for not for uh, looking. You would have at least needed to check if it was mine. Yeah, Monica takes a deep breath. I really like that they actually take emphasis on the pauses that the characters do instead of just doing dot 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 all the time. I really like it. Okay. I understand that you don't want me to worry. And I think I'll be able to put this aside so that we can move on. But can you promise me something? Promise you what? Monica pauses to collect your thoughts. Yeah, seriously. Amazing. This is the Literature Club. It's a place where people can express themselves in ways that life normally doesn't allow them to. That's the vision. In fact, it's our vision. Right the way into your heart, or whatever. So, I just want you to promise me that you'll remember that too. It doesn't have to be right now, but I want you- I want to be here for you when you need it. I want us to be ourselves like that. Siri smiles gently. I'll promise if you promise. Unable to help it, Monica returns Sayori's smile. I promise. Me too. As the conversation closes, the mood in the room is lifted. With that behind them, it's time to proceed with the club activities. So, want to teach me about poetry? Uh, but what about recruitment? It's fine, we have plenty of time for that. But right now, I feel like I want to do this. I mean, I have to fulfill my end and I have to fulfill, I have to fulfill my end of the promise. You know? <laughs> There's no way I could, do, I could say no to that. Just don't expect much. I do a lot of writing, but it's not like I'm a scholar or anything. That's fine. I think I just need, like, some motivation. I never know where to- s I don't- I think that Monica wouldn't say like as much as she is right now. I just don't think that she would say that that much. Anyways. I never know where to start when it comes right to writing poems. Starting isn't so hard. You kind of just need to write down your feelings and see where it takes you. Yeah, but that wouldn't come out any good. It's not supposed to. You're going to have to fight your perfectionist mind on this one. <laughs> you can just start by writing your own feelings and see what kind of things it makes, th it makes you think of. And then you can turn your feelings into a little story. Mm. You can get your own feelings sound first, make it sound pretty later. Oh my god. Okay, I... That was one of Monica's writing tips of the day, in the main game. Dan Salvati, you fucking genius. I mean, you're not really. That's. I mean, it's kind of just making sense of the story in the future. But the, uh, it's not that genius, but it's pretty smart. <laughs> it's it's clever, it's clever. That's what I mean. It's like. It's not like building a railroad where you have to go from one end to the other. It's more like a college where you have to find all the things you want to put in and then you arrange them in a pretty way. At least that's how I do it. 
It's not like the only way, but it's a really good way to get not get stuck right at the beginning. I understand. Yeah, I always get so caught up in how it sounds that I forget about what's actually important. Monica pulls out a pen and paper and starts to and starts writing on. Stop being a perfectionist, you idiot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Monica scribbles out you idiots after she writes it down. No, keep it. What? Why? Are you calling me an idiot? Of course not. But the point is that you're not supposed to police your feelings, right? Be as dramatic as you want. <laughs> but I was just... Oh, yeah. Underneath the scribble, Monica rewrites you idiot. She stares at the paper. Her words stare back at her. It's kind of funny how I wrote down that I'm a mad at myself. And then I did the exact thing anyway. This is gonna really get, take some getting used to. I believe in you. Thanks. I do too. Me, I mean. But also you, of course. <laughs> Monica continues the exercise, jotting down her thoughts. It's surprisingly quiet. It's, it's surprisingly quite a struggle to write without overthinking it. But after a while, with Sayori's guidance and encouragement, Monica's sheet of paper begins to look fairly lively, peppered with all all of her random thoughts. Phew. Monica looks up and down at her sheet. Gosh, I feel so tense looking at this. I hate it. But it's also kind of liberating. Mm -hmm. I can tell how hard you are trying. It, take, it makes me happy. I think you'll be good at writing poems. <laughs> don't, give, don't give me too much credit. I'd have to really try it hard Try- I- okay, I can't speak. I started out good with speaking and then just fell off. Okay. I'd have to try really, really hard at- at it. But I think it's something that I'll enjoy doing. With you. Sayori beams. I'll stop here, but we still have time. Let's try to work on- on a new flyer for the club. It won't be so picky about the language. Yay, let's do it! Monica and Sayori proceed with their work. With each passing day, the two of them become more confident in the club. Not simply for their recruitment planning, but from their vision as well. As her bond strengthens, so does the essence of the literature club. Finally, they begin to truly feel like it's only a matter of time before they find more members. Oh. Another day passes. As usual, Monica is the first one in the, into the club room. With her is a printout of Revised Literature Club Flyer, uh, complete with all the new ideas Monica and Sayori came up with. If only this was a flyer we gave to that one reading girl the other day. It's so much more attractive than the old one, but the new catchphrase is featured clearly in the center of the flyer. Write the way into your heart. Surely, common sense would say that one writes from the heart, not into the heart. But in Monica's case, you know how that goes. Anyways. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's been a while since I, I can't even save. I can't even save. <laughs> Anyways. But the message being delivered is the one... Is that one you can use writing to discover themselves? Hopefully, Monica and Siori had thought that... It would be enough to uh, garner some curiosity from students. Why do I feel so tense looking at this? Monica thinks back to the previous meeting when she performed the writing ex exercise. I was, was I always this bad at expressing myself? How am I supposed to be president if I can't even demonstrate what the club is supposed to be about? The literature club is truly beginning to take form. But with that, the weight on Monica's shoulders only becomes be heavier. Debate club was uh, always about rigid structure, formulating airtight points and counterpoints that deliver and delivering them with a conviction. It was about the person on the outside. That's why Monica was so good at it. It existed entirely within her realm of comfort. It's suffocating. I need to take a break from this mental wall. I need to learn to express myself for real. Monica pulls out a sheet of paper and grabs her pen. She presses it. She presses the tip of the pen firmly against the paper. 
but her hand doesn't move. Instead, a tiny blot of ink uh, collects around the tip of her pen. Wait, was that also a reference in your reality? Oh, boys. Oh my goodness, that is clever. Dan Salvato is just being clever with Monica here, and Siori, and everybody. Well, I haven't gotten to any everybody, but whatever. <laughs> Monica lifts her pen and stares at a little blotch. For some reason, she feels compelled to run her fingers across it. As she does so, the black ink smears across the paper, ruining Monica's canvas. Ugh. Out of spite for herself, Monica presses her pen down once again, letting the ink collect. She creates the second smear on the paper. Come on, Monica. Just move your hand. Monica writes. Dan, Dan, you just... I swear to God, at this point, I'm just like... I think I feel like he was just looking at what he wrote for the, your reality. Or, like, who... Like, th did Dan write that? I don't know if Dan wrote that or not. But he was just looking at it, and he's like, I can use this as some dialogue. <laughs> yes. But, I mean, it's clever. It's He did it in a clever way. It's fun. Wow. Why would you... Why would you not do it down, Monica? Why would you do side? Okay, fine. This is what I get for seeking perfection. A stain. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Dot, dot, dot. Monica slides the paper away from her and puts her head down on the desk. Man, the air conditioner seems louder today. I'm here! Hi. Monica hears Siri approach her desk and stop for a second, probably reading a piece of paper. Then she sits down in the adjacent desk. Bad day? Mm-hmm. Me too. You too? The new flyer looks so good. You've been working so hard. On the club. But also something else, I think. I can't do it. I'm sorry. It's so hard to just be vulnerable. Hmm? Sayori takes the sheet of paper from Monica's desk. She writes something down and stares at it for a while. These pauses, dude. <laughs> There's so many. But it's like, it makes sense. Can I trust you? Of course. You can trust me with anything. Sayori gazes at Monica with sadness in her eyes. Understanding the, sig the signal, Monica takes a uh, the paper from Sayori's desk and reads it. Oh my, f that's straight up. Sometimes I want to die. <laughs> I should have laughing. I shouldn't be laughing. Let's just move past that. Siri. Da, da, da. This is really, really hard for me. Her voice shakes. So if I can do it, then you can too. Because you're like a, this music. Oh, God. <laughs> you're like a million times better than me. That's completely not true. Siri takes a deep breath, trying to steady herself. That's something about me that I've never told anyone before. Even now, my head is, like, screaming at me to stop. Wait, you don't... you don't have to force yourself. I mean, just because the promise yesterday. I want to. It just feels right. I mean, maybe it's because it's part of the reason I came to this club in the first place. It's... this is the literature club. I trust you. More than I am scared. At those words, Monica stands up. Siri must have taken days to work up the courage for this. Were Monica's own futile but genuine efforts actually actually the push that Siori needed? Siori's deliberate breaths can be so heard over in the air conditioner. Uh, as she prepares herself to continue, Monica waits in gentle silence. I think I really, I'm really like, I'm, I, after, after this. Oh my god. 
Dan, you just know how to make me like these characters more and more than I thought I could. Dan Salvato, you are a freaking genius. <laughs> I, I think, at least I think he wrote these. I'm pretty sure Dan wrote these. Uh, he wrote the first game, so. I mean, who knows? I have this problem where I get really upset when people worry too much about me. I can't control it. It's like, why waste your energy worrying about me when you can just be happy instead? So I never tell anyone about these kinds of thoughts that I have. It's so much easier to, for me to just smile and help everyone else be happy. But that's terrible. That's what Monica wants to say, but she stops herself in fear of saying the wrong thing. It's just, if everyone knew about it, they would treat me the same- they wouldn't treat me the same anymore. I feel that line so much. Now whenever I'm not smiling, everyone would worry about me and ask me what's wrong. I know that, because it used to be like that. Siri pauses, seeming to recall something in the past. I just want everyone to be happy. That's the most important thing to me. And letting people look inside my head doesn't bring happiness to anyone. Siri pauses again, her solemn expression making her look almost like an entirely different person. How did you find the courage to tell me this? You're not worried that I'll be one of those people too? I am worried. Part of me really hates myself for doing this, but another part of me, I think, just felt like it would be different this time. Whenever we talk, talk about what the club is supposed to mean, I keep feeling like it was right for me to do. Especially after you've been trying to trying so hard to express yourself too. It just made me feel like I could say it in confidence and our friendship doesn't have to change. <laughs> it's so silly, but the club is the club is only two people, but it already means this much to me. Monica feels a tightening sensation in her heart. A feeling of connection as Siori's emotions radiate between them. Me too. I was so lost until you showed up. You're so brave, Sayori. You're so strong and brave. I don't even compare. Monica steps forward. But if nothing else, I can at least offer you to offer you some hook energy, if you'd like. Oh, here's the CG. Oh, it's actually so sweet. Oh, and the music too. Oh, I love everything about this. I love everything. Everything about this is amazing. Oh, okay. Wordlessly, without a smile, Siori rests her forehead on Monica's shoulder. Through their contact, Monica can almost feel the torrent of thought swimming in Siori's head. And in this moment, enchanted by the air of the club, Monica realizes that all the days that have passed, this one where she... This is the one where she really, really hopes that nobody new walks through the door. She speaks softly. You're like the sweetest girl I've ever met. Okay, now, honestly, these side stories are probably just gonna be more... They're just... I feel like these side stories are also just gonna feed the people that ship the Dokis together. <laughs> I mean... It's 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 whatever. It's whatever. They can do whatever they want. I promise. Siri's breathing begins to quiver. She takes several deep deep breaths, trying as hard as she can to speak, to start speaking, to say the things she never once dared to say out loud. Finally, she speaks a, cho a choked voice. I'm so worthless. I'm worthless, and everyone would be better off without me. She pressed a sob. Okay, I can't speak. She suppressed a sob as a tear falls down her cheek. I'm just an inconvenience to everyone. I'm not good at anything, and it just feels like everyone just has to put up with me, and I hate it. I hate it. The more Siri speaks, the more she fails to control her voice, falling victim to the overwhelming sad sadness clutching at her throat and chest. I don't want to have these thoughts. I want them to go away, and now I'm making you put up with me, and I just want to die. As soon as Sayori loses her composure, Monica begins to, becomes determined to keep her own. 
She only wants to be what Sayori needs right now, so she won't let any sadness show. Her voice comes through as soft and gentle. This is putting up- This isn't putting up with you. I'm just being your friend. Monica offers a few words of comfort, but she knows Sayori said it herself, that the thoughts Sayori experiences are the ones that don't belong, and Monica can mag can't magically make them go away. The most she can do is help Sayori battle them, like any good friend would do. You have so much value. To me, and your other friends too. This club wouldn't have been the same without you. I really, really mean that. You coming here was the best thing that could have happened. Even if we never got any other members, I would still be happy. That's what brought you here. You brought us a vision. And you also brought us happiness. And that's your favorite thing to do, right? Siri doesn't respond, but Monica feels her gentle nod. No more words are needed between them. Oh, that's so sweet. The two share their embrace for a while longer, Monica letting Sayori take as much as, as much time as she needs. Once her breathing steadies, her sniffles fully cease, Sayori lifts her head to wipe her eyes. I guess I needed that. Some days are harder than others. Well, I'm here if you need me. But any other time, I'll make sure that things are the way they usually are. If that's what makes you happy. Mm-hmm. Thanks. You're the best. No, you are. The two exchange smiles. You know, I'm sorry to bring all this up all of a sudden, but have you considered talking to a professional? Sayori nods. <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the truth. <laughs> yeah. Well, of course it's always will be your choice, but if you're ever looking uh, to find the courage for it, I can do my best to help you. Thanks. I think it helps knowing that you would. Siori suddenly yawns and stretches. Wow, that made me tired. I'm hungry. And hungry. <laughs> well, I won't make you do any work today if you're not up for it. No, I want to. I mean, I can say that's... I can say that's de it's definitely one of the things that makes me happy. Monica smiles, but I might want to get a snack first. All of a sudden, the sound of the door causes them, the two of them to lean their heads. It's Yuri! It's Yuri! It's Yuri! It's gotta be Yuri! It's gotta be Yuri! It's gotta be Yuri! The door opens halfway, then stops. A face peeks inside. Oh, 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 I'm excited now. <laughs> a face that seems familiar. Just show it already! Just show it already! No, I have to play the next fight somewhere you hate this! Stop! <laughs> Uh, I turned into Cobble Cop too much nowadays. Okay, anyways, let's look at the pictures. Oh, it's the CG. Oh my god, that... Oh wait, next side story is the one that was on the... On the page, on the Steam page for uh, DDLC+. I wonder how you get all the promo stuff. Like, how do I get all the promo stuff? I want to get... I want to complete this in game like entirely even if it takes me like three freaking months i'm gonna do it i don't care oh whoa oh whoa you get to see the new designs oh whoa monica's thighs are even thicker <laughs> i'm sorry but i feel like they are they yeah no they are they are f way freaking thicker dude dude the plot thickens <laughs> that's a joke that's a joke that's a joke Hmm. You know, I might, I just might think that Monica and Sayori are now tied for best Doki. I, I, honestly, if I had to choose between them, if, no, well, if I could choose between them and I had to choose between them, that would be one of the hardest decisions, 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 I hate this <laughs> i would ever have to make in my life <laughs> probably not because it's a video game but whatever <laughs> even peachy pie that mm. uh my song you know oh it's this one 
Dusk. Dusk is also the best one. Look at these girls. Look at these girls. Look at them. Look at them. Okay. Anyways. I, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. But first of all, let's just take a look at how amazing. I, words are not possible right now. I don't know why words are not possible at the moment, but they, they uh, every single one of these, every single one of these dokies, they they, they 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 are amazing in their own ways. But in my personal opinion, Yuri and Monica are best. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, see you in the next one. Yeah. My God, I love this.